Yes, indeed, and welcome back to Y254. This is the touchline with me, Bernardo Kumu. And what a way to have the last and final segment of our interview than engage the superbike racers who are in the studio already. And of course, I'll begin by introducing them from my immediate right. That's uh, Chris Satish. Thank you so much, Chris, for honoring the invite and coming through, as well as uh, Edu. Yeah. Right, Edu yeah. the chef. Edu the chef. I'll ask yes. why they call you Edu the chef, and also Kibe on my uh, extreme right. Uh, that's a uh, brand Kibe, uh, Edwin Waweru, and Christopher Satish from uh, the Superbike uh, series. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being in the studio. It's a pleasure. Yes, and pleasure. we have Thank a machine you. before us. How do you describe it? This one. Yes. This one is my child. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Honda Fireblade. It's a 1000 cc bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, my daily motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Motorcycle is on a daily. And maybe talk about the Superbike series. I remember um, interacting with you for the first time last year. Yeah. And it was interesting to know that um, you're geared to, to conquering the gravel with, with the Superbike. How has it been for, for the series this year? Uh, for, for what do you predict this season? Okay, we last year ended on a really high note. Mm -hmm. Our last event had a huge, huge turnout. Mm -hmm. So this year we're hoping it's going to be even bigger. Mm -hmm. We have... Uh, last year we had four events, this year we're looking at five events, mm -hmm. so we're hoping it's going to be much, much bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a drugs event, mm -hmm. uh, the date will be announced mm -hmm. as well as the location. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the championship that we usually have at Whistling Morans, this time it's going to be three races. We're going to start with our first one on the 21st of April, mm -hmm. and then... Uh, 21st of July will be round two, mm -hmm. and round three will the final round will mm -hmm. be on the 6th of October. Mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. After that, the fifth and final event that we'll have mm -hmm. on an overall basis mm -hmm. as slick trading mm -hmm. will be uh, like the bike fest race. Mm -hmm. So this one won't exactly. It's going to be on the 8th of December. Mm -hmm. It's like an open race, so mm -hmm. it's not exactly going to earn you points towards the championship or anything, and it's going to be skill-based, mm -hmm. not CC-based. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, Edu, when did you pick up um, the superbike racing? Mm, superbike racing in Kenya started back in 2013. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been uh, on the background, uh -huh. but uh, officially I started racing in 2017. Uh -huh. But all along I've been riding. Uh -huh. And yes, how has yes. it been for you? How would you describe the experience? The experience has been um, proper. Mm -hmm. top sana. Mm -hmm. So, so far, mm -hmm. we've been mentoring other new racers mm -hmm. to ca uh, coming up. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's still growing. Mm -hmm. And we have more chance to bring more mm -hmm. people on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like brand. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up from there. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been racing from uh, 2019. Uh -huh. I picked up racing I, after a year of riding. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it is a desire to want more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, from 2019, uh, you get enough experience, you see the, the, the sport grow. You want to encourage more people to, to come and join you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do our best to practice as much as we can. Mm -hmm. And on the race day, we do our best to put on the best show we can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say that adrenaline could be one of the uh, you know, key drivers to the desire. Oh, yes, it certainly is. Yeah. Uh, well, when you're on track, it's just you uh, in your helmet. Mm -hmm. Everything is quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, the time almost slows down when you're going, uh, when you're doing what you're doing on track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, it's, it's been always, it's been the same for you. Yes. Every uh -huh. time, every time you put on the lid, uh -huh. uh, your visor down, it's a different experience. Mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of all your problems fade away and yes. take over the track. Chris, what are we seeing as um, an addition or a change to this year's calendar? Uh, we have the drugs event. Mm -hmm. That's, as a biker, it's been a long time since it's happened. Mm -hmm. I think the last time it happened was 2018, mm -hmm. if I'm not wrong. So that is going to be something most of us are looking forward to mm -hmm. because drugs brings in a bigger crowd mm -hmm. and it brings in more racers. Mm -hmm. You have even lesser experienced racers coming in. Mm -hmm. We have smaller CC guys mm -hmm. who are accommodating. Mm -hmm. uh, we're thinking about accommodating when the 400 CC and below category. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting a huge turnout in terms of racers and not only fans. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we also have uh, the final race of the year, which I told you about, mm -hmm. the bike fest mm -hmm. race. Mm -hmm. So this one, uh, it has nothing to do with the championship. It's 
an independent event on its own. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping to bring back the guys who raced back in 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. Edu's peers, mm -hmm. guys like those. So we're hoping it will, you know, bring them back to the sports because we had a huge gap in 2020, 2021. Nothing was happening in the motorcycle industry. Mm -hmm. It was dead Kabisa. Mm -hmm. So to bridge that gap, we're mm -hmm. trying to bring back the OG racers, mm -hmm. if we call them, if we put it that way, mm -hmm. to now we have them compete against the current racers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I, I do. Maybe uh, looking at uh, this year's event, how would you, like, I know it hasn't begun, this season hasn't begun yet, yeah. but what's your anticipation? Uh, it's going to be big mm -hmm. because uh, we're expecting a huge, huge crowd. Mm -hmm. Drugs have been, um, ever since we started the drugs, mm -hmm. It's been pulling uh, a lot and a lot of uh, spectators. Uh, it's quite a simple uh, race, mm -hmm. uh, if I put it. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of your skill and uh, the power of your bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you just launch, quarter mile, mm -hmm. make sure you just uh, finish, uh, you cross the line, mm -hmm. being the first. Yes, and Brian, maybe when you began, did you begin um, at, at, at what level and right now maybe how would you encourage other uh, those who would be uh, bikers to, to join the Superbike series? Yes, uh, starting off was uh, the one of the drugs events there was that year. Uh, it was quite uh, an experience. I remember having the smallest bike there. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, smallest size, uh, smallest bike in, this, in the sense of the size of the engine. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was uh, definitely a daunting task, but when you believe you can do anything, mm -hmm. there's really nothing to stop you. Mm -hmm. uh, like then, exactly as I've said, if you believe you can do anything and uh, nothing, nothing will stop you. So whoever you are, whatever you're riding, we are very welcoming. Uh, we encourage everyone, whether whatever you're riding, even if it is uh, the boxer bikes or mm -hmm. uh, such bikes, mm -hmm. you're all welcome. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, there's certain rules we, are, we adhere to so that we all stay safe. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we have the gear and uh, mm -hmm. just general rules on the track. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And maybe a number of um, people are asking if they have the boxers, the normal bikes out there, mm -hmm. can they do maybe what they call in rally homologation or stuff like that and hit the road? Mm. We do not. Uh, necessarily do homologation. Mm -hmm. uh, we encourage everyone to come. We mm -hmm. even have uh, riders at the moment mm -hmm. riding uh, the such uh, boxer bikes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the idea is to, to, to be able to grow the sport to a point where mm -hmm. we can say now, mm -hmm. let us get uh, certain uh, specifications for for the bikes mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yeah. and maybe Satish you can talk about the specification for the bikes I know uh, many of the viewers are asking where do I begin if I cannot really access the maybe uh, such a bike of a stitcher but I have something else yes yeah, so we have you see uh, since we've come back to racing mm -hmm. as the new organizing current organizers mm -hmm. we try to accommodate everyone it's mm -hmm. not at it's a spot for the rich or anything mm -hmm. we accommodate every class of racers so we have even the 100 cc mm -hmm. so that's where we have now the guys with the boxer participating the tvs apache mm -hmm. i've seen many border border guys using that bike we have a racer currently mm -hmm. he's number two uh, he ended last season number two in the championship and mm -hmm. he had a tvs apache mm -hmm. so when you have such a bike the only thing i would recommend is appropriate gears mm -hmm. and tires mm -hmm. because you see, the tire that Aboda Boda is going to use mm -hmm. is not the same tire you use on the track. Mm -hmm. Even though it's the same bike, mm -hmm. you're going to have like a softer tire for more grip, mm -hmm. for cornering faster. Mm -hmm. So the bike, uh, we're open to all bikes, mm -hmm. uh, but it has to be equipped to some extent. You mm -hmm. see, like tires is more of a matter of safety. Mm -hmm. Not only is it for performance, but also safety because we want... It's not only about your safety, mm -hmm. because when you're racing, it's all of you, so we don't want you to fall and take out another rider and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So there are certain criteria we expect you to meet, and we have practice every Sunday. Mm -hmm. So anyone can come on a Sunday at Whistling Morans, interact with us. Organizers are there every Sunday. At least one or two organizers are there every Sunday at Whistling Morans. We have at least 10 to 15 bikers, the racers. Mm -hmm. So you can just come in and interact with us and mm -hmm. we'll guide you appropriately. Mm -hmm. Edu, what, what attracted you to, to, to the speed bike when you began? I was born with it. <laughs> My dad used to ride, <laughs> yeah, back, uh, back then. And uh, even when I was a little boy, <laughs> he used to know that one day 
among all this, this uh -huh. one uh -huh. is coming here. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it happened uh, naturally, mm -hmm. and it's something that I cannot live without, mm -hmm. uh, if mm -hmm. I may say. And, yeah. and, and, the, and the future looks bright. What's looking at, where, what's the prog uh, progression? How do you predict it? Yeah, so uh, over time, mm -hmm. uh, it's grown, the community has grown. There is uh, new riders coming on board. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the future, maybe one day we're we'll gonna have uh, a truck, mm -hmm. uh, a MotoGP, a proper one, mm -hmm. four kilometers, mm -hmm. sort of. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now we're organizing, it's not for us. Mm -hmm. It's the young future, those for the coming future. up. Yeah, those coming up, uh -huh. so that they get a platform uh -huh. where uh -huh. they can be able to race uh -huh. and even take flag, our, our flag here in Kenya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. even in other races abroad, yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Brian, how, how easy was it for you to get support from uh, key people? Mm, key people in terms of uh, parents. support from Yes, yeah, support uh, from parents, uh, those people who really help you get your, uh, uh, your racing uh, career um, off the track. Yeah. So the, there's a sort of a notion that uh, bikes are dangerous. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, if you, it depends on you as a rider. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you're, not, if you're not careful, if you don't take care of uh, different conditions around you, mm -hmm. chances are you might, you might end up fulfilling their fears. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say that they, there was 100% support. Mm -hmm. they, had, uh, they had certain fears, mm -hmm. which uh, I had to make sure that I keep, I keep myself safe. Mm -hmm and make sure I make it home every day. Mm -hmm. So seeing that, mm -hmm. they start to begin and say, and say, okay, maybe this is something he wants to do. This is something he's, he's, he's occupying his mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. properly, making uh, friends, you meet uh, good people out uh, mm -hmm. riding. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, it, it sort of naturally comes now, let us support his, mm -hmm. uh, his interests, mm -hmm. yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, as long as it's safe. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Satish, been, um, I, I do talked about getting the race to, you know, international standards, just mm -hmm. as, as a sign of growth, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But looking at, we only have um, maybe one track. How mm -hmm. a challenge is that? I think, I think track-wise, that's been our biggest challenge as racing. Because if you see the categories of 600 and 1000 especially, mm -hmm. the bike comes with six gears. It has mm -hmm. the potential to do 300. Mm -hmm. But a track like Whistling Morans, you'll find a biker doing the entire track on first gear. Mm -hmm. So that's been our biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, those who have had the opportunity <coughs> have gone to South Africa mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Dubai mm -hmm. to race on bigger tracks and push their bikes more to the limit. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in Kenya, we only have the Whistling Morans mm -hmm. track mm -hmm. and the TGRV track mm -hmm. in Rift Valley. Mm -hmm. And again, if you look at Rift Valley, it's very far. By the time you're reaching there with your bike, you're already exhausted, the day is gone. So you're looking at spending accommodation. So the most accessible at right now for mm -hmm. us as racers would be the Whistling Moran's track. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it's small, but it's what we have and we do the best mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. with it. it any, any backup we do from uh, the authorities or what? Uh, of course, it can only be one. Yeah, 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 we've been getting a little bit of support, mm -hmm. but um, with the racing, uh, right now, even if you look at the society in Kenya, mm -hmm. people still haven't accepted bikers. They mm -hmm. always look at us like bad people, you know. What has brought that image? There is... Uh, Who created that? You see the movies, the movies people <laughs> see. The influence. Yeah, the, the influence, movies. you know, yeah, in the movies, uh -huh. you see bikers are people who are bad, they have crew, it's like uh, drug dealers and all that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different perspective. Mm -hmm. in, of course, in, with the MotoGP yeah. we've seen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. so uh, for us, what we are doing is uh, create awareness, mm -hmm. uh, people to understand the bikes, people mm -hmm. to, to, to love them. Mm -hmm. And uh, also for the authorities need to see that uh, we are doing something mm -hmm. and it's something that has so much potential. Mm -hmm. Looking at people who've gone abroad to get on races there mm -hmm. with their own capability, not sponsored. Yes. There are people who've gone to South Africa, Dubai, Qatar and did their track. Mm -hmm. So with them, they go there and they actually perform because mm -hmm. they get questions. Uh, 
you guys race under giraffes there mm -hmm. you know <laughs> you have to show them prove you know Africa that Africans don't all about giraffes right? uh, what do you tell them exactly so <laughs> people prove them wrong mm -hmm. and they put them with amateurs yeah. they overlap amateurs mm -hmm. they put them in uh, intermediary mm -hmm. they overlap them mm -hmm. and they put them with the, the pros mm -hmm. and they're like oh so these guys can actually do something you know mm -hmm. so there's so much potential and i think us being mm -hmm. uh, not having a proper track and the roads with so much uh, going on, uh -huh. uh, border borders crossing, uh, animals crossing, yeah. but you have to stay safe. That's what brings them during the rally, though, in Ivasha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but now for <laughs> us, it makes us <laughs> better. Yeah, yeah. Because sure. now your focus is totally different. Because yes, uh, yes. if you look at our roads, yeah, mm -hmm. mostly people don't follow rules, mm -hmm. but you have to stay focused to make sure that uh, your ride today. Mm -hmm. We, you will need to write tomorrow. Yeah. People have a problem with complying. Yeah, so like once that. once mm -hmm. we get someone who can actually see the mm -hmm. potential that mm -hmm. we have as bikers mm -hmm. and the races, mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 gonna make a change. Mm -hmm. It's 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 time. Uh, it's, it's changing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. now getting that yeah. person, uh, we yeah. have to do what we have to do. Yeah. To make sure it's out there mm -hmm. and people see the potential yeah. that we have. Brand, do you feel like you're, 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 you're the pioneer, not really pioneer generation, but now the generation that will take it out there and get that ear that uh, Edu is talking about? Do you feel the pressure? Mm, I wouldn't say, um, of course, I'm not the pioneer because yes, they were uh, there, yes. there. Yeah, and but taking it to the next level. Yes, uh -huh. and definitely I'm not the last one. Mm -hmm. So I'll do what I can mm -hmm. in the time that I am involved in the sports mm -hmm. to push as much as, to push it as far as I can, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and the course, I mean, uh, maybe I can ask Edu before I come to Satish, they, what, what, do you have a particular course, you know, a reason why you talked about, you know, uh, I saw the course coming. Yeah, 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 so mm -hmm. um, at the end we would like to have um, like uh, an international track here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have like uh, the MotoGP standard mm -hmm. track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and uh, people are going to race properly because mm -hmm. we also don't want people to be speeding on on the roads because yes. it's still not safe mm -hmm. to actually do 300 on uh, on 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 open roads mm -hmm. but you can do 300 on a closed track so mm -hmm. at the end with all this racing that mm -hmm. we are doing mm -hmm. at the end that's uh, that's what we want and it's not only for us mm -hmm. maybe we'll be at the backstage and we say yeah smiling we, and yeah exactly and we're seeing mm -hmm. The, the, the kids coming up and they can do better than what we did, but we already set the foundation for yes. them. Yes. How soon should we see that, Satish? Uh, it's very tough. It's very it's tough, tough, yeah. Very what does it take? Yeah. Uh, you're looking at a huge piece of land, extremely huge piece of land, because mm -hmm. if you're going to push a bike to its limit, you need a track that's big enough, mm -hmm. literally, like size-wise, because if you look at our Whistling Moran track, it's around uh, 1 to 1.1 kilometers mm -hmm. a full lap, mm -hmm. and that involves your corners and everything. Mm -hmm. If you look at the tracks in Malaysia, UAE, they have just the main street alone is a kilometer mm -hmm. or plus mm -hmm. 1.2. So you're looking at around 4.5 to 5.5 kilometers in the minimum to build a track that you can push your bike to its potential. Mm -hmm. So it needs a lot of funding. It needs the... I'd say the support from the government mm -hmm. because it's not possible as riders to come together and say I'm going to build a track. It's not feasible. Mm -hmm. We don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. It's it's mo it's literally a thing about money. Like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it's what you can invest and the returns you're gonna get. And we don't have that to invest mm -hmm. as bikers. Mm -hmm. So we we've tried appealing for government support mm -hmm. and just waiting on feedback now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Uh, so indeed, what's happening right now is just fielding, uh, going for international championships abroad and gaining the experience. Uh, for now, we don't have championship. Mm -hmm. We don't have any Kenyan racer who's racing MotoGP bikes or uh, at a championship level. Mm -hmm. We have guys who go for a track day. So mm -hmm. you go, let's say, on a Friday. You have the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You do your weekends around the international laps. Mm -hmm. And then you come back. Mm -hmm. So we've had racers who have gone and others have seen the potential. We've had guys who have almost broken records out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Being it that the only practice at Whistling runs. Mm -hmm. So imagine the potential we could have if we had our own track here mm -hmm. and we had guys who could practice day in, day out. We'd have, mm -hmm. We have the talent. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of talent mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. It's just we don't have... Uh, somewhere to express it mm -hmm. and somewhere to nurture those talents. Mm -hmm. Huge potential. 
mm -hmm. right? And, and, and looking up to now, you'll say that uh, maybe uh, we are getting there, we are knocking the door? Yeah, um, there's been good response mm -hmm. from the public mm -hmm. and also from the private sector also. Mm -hmm. But I uh, would urge more to come on board, uh, companies in the private sector mm -hmm. to come on board uh, as sponsors. Mm -hmm. we, we've, we've got crowd, we pull crowds. Mm -hmm. So once we, we get there, then the government is going to come. Even if it's private sector, it's going to build there, but we'll need the support from the government. Yes. 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 And maybe a brand for this bike to serve you well, what, what, what must happen for you uh, to get the maximum results? A lot goes into into getting the bike to give you the best result mm -hmm. you, you can get from it. Mm -hmm. uh, much like uh, taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. you need to take care of it. You need to do consistent mm -hmm. uh, servicing. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, oil changes. You need to do uh, changing the spark plugs and oil filters, as, mm -hmm. uh, just as you would in your on your road car. Mm -hmm. uh, on the track, a lot we consume a lot of uh, tires because mm -hmm. you can imagine. Uh, how much, how many laps you'd be doing there, mm -hmm. and at a performance uh, level. Mm -hmm. So you get, you see, you com you consume a lot of uh, the uh, tires. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, uh, basically, just keep your bike in good condition mm -hmm. um, yes, by servicing and such. Uh, do, would you add on your experience? Yeah, uh, um, for you, sometimes it's, it's it's just working. It's a it's an expensive hobby, I would say. Uh -huh. It's an expensive uh, addiction, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> if I put it. Yeah. So coming to race, you need uh, you need uh, you need to prepare your bike. You need uh, it to perform at its best. Uh -huh. People do mapping on their ECUs. They put power commanders uh -huh. that um, gives more performance to the bike. Uh -huh. And to do all that, you have to plan for it. You have uh -huh. to make sure that. Other than just your skill, mm -hmm. the bike will give you mm -hmm. at its best. It's, uh, it's good engineering and you know it's at its best. Mm -hmm. So coming to tires, uh, to the oil you're using, everything needs to be top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for you to actually get to where mm -hmm. they can crown you king. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and we are, we, are, we, are, we are going to see that we saw that last season. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, those who did it, what, what um, I mean, what the, the, what kind of, how, how uh, tight were they with their, with their machine and, and their mental strength? I'd say um, if you're pushing your bike, you not only need to know, like, I can't just come, I pick a bike one day and then I, I equip it with the tires, mm -hmm. put the best oil, the best brake fluid and race it. You need to understand your bike. Every mm -hmm. bike has a way of behaving. I might have the exact same tires on a BMW, but it mm -hmm. turns different. Mm -hmm. uh, I can have another identical BMW, the same setup, but mm -hmm. it enters a corner different, it behaves different. So at the end of the day, the guys who outshined everyone else were those who understood how their own bikes performed mm -hmm. and how it suited their riding skill mm -hmm. and how they could adjust themselves to outperform the competition. Mm -hmm. And maybe countries that have done well, countries that maybe Kenya should be looking up to in, in the continent? I'd say our nearest neighbor would be South Africa. Mm -hmm. Not the neighbor, but the closest yes. we'd look up to is South Africa mm -hmm. because they have a full-size track. They so have like racers who have raced MotoGP. Mm -hmm. That's at a global level. Mm -hmm. The most competitive racing in the world, mm -hmm. we've had a racer from South Africa. Yeah. Yes, and mm -hmm. we, must, we must have such facilities to get out there. Mm. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Exactly. If you look at uh, guys like the guys who are represented in MotoGP, they start racing by four years, mm -hmm. they're on bikes. Mm -hmm. By three years, they're on bikes. Mm -hmm. By 15, 14, 15, mm -hmm. they're on the full-size bikes at full-size trucks. Mm -hmm. So by the time you see a racer at 18, 19, mm -hmm. they're at their peak of talent. Mm -hmm. They've nurtured themselves there. There's no way for them to improve. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's always that little to improve, but yeah. they're outperforming their talent. Yeah. 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 They, so they master the technicalities of the game. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But that's not a disadvantage either, I do, back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. of course. Uh, it, it, we, we try to nurture mm -hmm. the, the youngins mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to come up knowing mm -hmm. uh, how to handle the bike better. Mm -hmm. But uh, for us, I would say we've started uh, getting this talent done while we are a bit time has uh, mm -hmm. yeah, advanced, yeah, yeah, advanced. Yeah, yeah, advanced a bit, mm -hmm. but that's what we are looking at, as mm -hmm. Satish has put it. Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking to see 18, 19 
doing champion world be, becoming world champions mm -hmm. at that young age mm -hmm. yes so yes. for now that's what we are working on yes. right. yeah. and soon of course the promise is that we see um, one of our own in, in, in the series, so the Kenyan series being one of the best in the, in the, in the continent. Actually, a dream I have is to uh, one day hear the national anthem with the Kenyan on the podium, mm -hmm. uh, the top step of the podium. Yeah. Uh, How satisfying would that be? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, at the athletics when you have uh, our people going to run in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. You have them standing on the top step. So if we had one in leathers, mm -hmm. Kenyan themed design le leathers, mm -hmm. ah, yeah, yeah. That's it's a game, good. It's game changing. Yes. <laughs> yes. How how how? I mean, we just remain optimistic, you know. But again, we are we are itchy to know when. Mm. If, you, if you look at it, we have in last year's season, uh, we had a 14-year-old racer, mm -hmm. and we had a 16-year-old racer. Yeah. So times are changing. Mm -hmm. But in the days 2018, 2019, you'd see the racers, I think the youngest would be in his 20s, early 20s, mm -hmm. and majority of the racers being early 30s. Mm -hmm. And right now, we have a lot of, most of our racers right now mm -hmm. are in that 20 to 30 age group. Mm -hmm. And we have two who are below 18, which mm -hmm. I'd say is really it's really showing growth of the sport and exposure mm -hmm. to the younger generations. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe um, amongst you, maybe one, one has gotten onto the bikes, but is using it as a, maybe as a tool to advance a certain message out mm. there. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, of course. Uh, we have uh, a racer by the name Charles Kimiti. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's deaf mm -hmm. and uh, he promotes uh, the message for the differently abled people in the country. Mm -hmm. It shows that he, he's, uh, that just by the fact that he cannot hear, it does not mean that he's not able to do just anything that the rest of us can do. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, like we said, we are an all-inclusive community. Mm -hmm. And if you have something that, you have something to say that mm -hmm. you, you need a platform mm -hmm. for, we are more than happy to pro to, mm -hmm. pro to give it to you. And it's, it's been great for for for, for the course. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, Edu, do you have do you have a certain uh, uh, a certain cause or goal that you hope you'll achieve apart from leaving a legacy to those who are coming up uh, in the back? I think um, I think that's my main mm -hmm. my main. Uh, I'll be I'll be more than happy saying. Mm -hmm. uh, other guys prosper. Mm -hmm. I'll be more than happy seeing the young come and also the full society to understand the bikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so once we get that track and we see people start racing mm -hmm. and going international level, mm -hmm. then I think that will be the best thing that uh, would have happened coming mm -hmm. from Kenya. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So Satish, we're looking forward to the drugs race. It should be um, yet to be announced, but yeah. what, what, what kind of um, uh, like, how does it set the stage for, for the remainder of the season now? What kind of picture do you expect to get? Uh, you see, with a drag race, mm -hmm. it's, it's just a quarter mile. It's 400 meters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who can finish that 400 meters in the quickest time? And personally, I feel like fans really like it. it mm -hmm. has, it's, even though it's short, it mm -hmm. has a lot of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Because it, launching your bike in terms of RPM, you're launching your bike at... 7,000, 8,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. That's the revolutions per meter. You'll find cars don't win. Cars reach 4,000, 5,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. You're talking about starting off at 10,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. So in the 400 meters, you're reaching almost 200 plus kilometers per hour. Mm -hmm. In a span of 400 meters, mm -hmm. you're reaching 100 kilometers per hour in less than three seconds. Mm -hmm. So it has a lot of adrenaline. It pulls a lot of crowd. So we're helping it will build more exposure mm -hmm. to the fans who can now come to us the Whistling Morans races mm -hmm. and see because again between the 2018 period and right now mm -hmm. we had a lot of people who just they don't even know that racing has come back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, it's a small circle mm -hmm. of racers who are aware and the local population they know that races are happening but we want to bring back the crowd that we had back in the day. We want to create that awareness so we're hoping that the drugs event will push towards mm -hmm. that. And maybe pulling, uh, bring along more female riders? Uh, right now we have one racer mm -hmm. currently in the, okay, from last, last season we had one racer. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it's not that we haven't had female dressers in the past. They've been there, they've come, they've gone. Mm -hmm. But we're looking into it. We're hoping that we'll have more registered participants this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. uh, teams, we've uh, encouraged teams. We have different teams. Mm -hmm. We have Alpha Racing, Elite Racing, Blade Dog Racing. So we've encouraged teams to come in with lady bikers as well because it's not that the talent is not out there. Mm -hmm. They're there. It's just you need to find them. Mm -hmm. yeah. What uh, I do, what do you hope to achieve or attain this season? Uh, this season, we're, we're expecting a, a bigger crowd than mm -hmm. from uh, last time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're expecting more races mm -hmm. to participate. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the end of the season, we believe that we would have made another step from mm -hmm. where we were last year. Mm -hmm. So we're encouraging the public to mm -hmm. come, mm -hmm. attend, mm -hmm. follow our pages, mm -hmm. just to watch out for the dates, mm -hmm. know the locations also, mm -hmm. uh, come on board, come see. Mm -hmm. If you're out there and uh, you have a bike, come, you'll go through scrutiny. Mm -hmm. uh, we check the bike if it's uh, at, uh, at, at, at the level to, to participate in a race. We'll check your gear, we'll check everything, your safety. And uh, yeah, so more racers, more spectators. So we're expecting to have uh, bigger, bigger, bigger events mm -hmm. this year. Yes. As you target to get to, uh, you know, expand the game and also maybe go to the MotoGP finally, but first have the racing track. Uh, Brian, maybe about your last season and how uh, lessons from last year will inform your performance this year. Every time we go on track, we seek, as racers, we seek to improve uh, whether it is your technique, mm -hmm. and, and that technique is mostly seen on mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. So I would say, uh, as a personal goal, I set out to, mm -hmm. I set out to, imp to improve my time throughout the year, mm -hmm. uh, which, which is something I, I can say I achieved. Mm -hmm. um, so ideally for this year, I would say, I would encourage people to join mm -hmm. in whatever bike you have because with competition you see you, you, you're able to grow yourself, mm -hmm. you're able to grow your race craft. So mm -hmm. it's not just uh, being, being able to put in the best time, mm -hmm. it's also being able to, because you, you find that as, uh, this is, an, en this is a, an avenue for entertainment. Mm -hmm. You want to provide the best value you can for the people spectating. Mm -hmm. So by developing a racecraft, you're able to put on a better show. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would say my target for this year would be to improve the, my time mm -hmm. a bit more and mm -hmm. also to improve my racecraft. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And maybe for the promising talents just like you who've been around as well, mm -hmm. how, 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 what kind of quality? Uh, the quality field that maybe you've been with, not, not, not necessarily competing against, but mm -hmm. how, how well do you think they've been pushing you to, to keep on? The, uh, the quality is there. <laughs> like uh, my colleagues have said, mm -hmm. the, there's a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. People, what were Melalia? Mm -hmm. Melalia potential. Mm -hmm. And they, they won't find out until you're mm -hmm. faced in, the, in that situation. So um, the, you always find someone coming. Uh, we can ma maybe to mention one is uh, his name is uh, Sarmad. Uh -huh. He came in. He last uh, I think he started racing last year uh -huh. and the uh, bike first. We were racing in the same category when, uh, like we said, the bike first was a was a talent was at based on talent, not uh -huh. uh, not the size of your bike. Uh -huh. So you, you'd find he started at the same level as I am. Uh -huh. And at the moment, he's mm -hmm. one of the best racers we have. Mm -hmm. So you find talent like that, mm -hmm. it's, it's a refreshing uh, experience to, to have someone come in. He's totally new and see him develop throughout the year mm -hmm. to a point where you're, you're pushing each other. Mm -hmm. that is, that it's usually very satisfying to see something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and as we leave, uh, prepare to, to finally wind up, um, they do what, mm -hmm. what uh, they hope and the future for, for this particular sport. Uh, we talked about those who have upper chairs, they can still join, you know, what's, how, how do they begin the journey? There must be one who's really interested watching right now. Yeah, so uh, anyone watching and would like to join us, um, you can uh, check uh, Slick Motorsports Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, the page is there. You can contact, you can DM just um, uh, to, to 
to get, you're going to get the response, mm -hmm. then people are more than welcome. Mm -hmm. Any Sunday, mm -hmm. we're always at Whistling Morons. Mm -hmm. uh, most of us are. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're we always, our arms are always welcoming. Mm -hmm. So for anyone who feels that uh, wants to participate mm -hmm. or wants to gain the skills, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. We have experienced races that uh, can can give you tips mm -hmm. here and there because mm -hmm. uh, we all want the spot to grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anyone who's out there mm -hmm. is more than welcome mm -hmm. to join us. Mm -hmm. Come understand, mm -hmm. come learn, mm -hmm. and uh, we will be there to assist where we can. Yes. Uh, Satish, uh, what the, the, this season, just I know we've talked so much about it, but yeah. in a nutshell, you can just um, give us the picture of how it will be, how grueling, how the, how the competitors, should, the races should be, what kind of mental state should be, uh, the preparation of the course and also from the organizing team. Uh, we're expecting more races. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a general impact. The old races we had from last season are doing much better times. They've practiced over... The gap we had over Christmas, guys were not sleeping because everyone wants to be the best. So we've had guys practicing and everyone is doing quicker times than they were last year. They're on the same bikes, same categories, mm -hmm. but they're outperforming themselves than what they were doing last year. So the competition is there. It's going to be intense. Uh -huh. yeah. Great one. And maybe before we leave, we must have a, the, the machine, uh, the raving of the machine so that maybe hopefully it won't bring this place down. But uh, <laughs> Satish, this is your bike. Yeah. Yes. Maybe we can bike. we can have uh, this as uh, uh, the raving of the machine mm -hmm. as we wind up, right? Okay. And uh, maybe I have to help out here, yeah. assist in um, and shackling the machines so that uh, Satish can have this machine rave. Uh, yes. Just put it in your pocket. Okay. Yeah. So maybe the front. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let me hold this for you. Thank you. Yes. It's a bit. I won't drive it completely. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Satish says that that's just the what you should be watching out for on at the Whistling Moran a race that will be announced. We sure that we'll get all the uh, details about that particular race that will be coming up uh, next. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Satish, uh, do the chef. But well, you never got the time to tell us what they call the chef. But you, I see you cooking nice things yeah. on the track exactly. and brand keep up, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you that's it. How we do it on Touchline. Thank you so much for watching. And Bernardo Kumo, have the best of the rest of your viewing. <laughs>